Here's another example of a tensegrity structure. It's called Tower of String and it will stand up on its own, which is quite counterintuitive. So that was a video done by Steve Mould and it intrigued us so much that we decided we need to build the thing. So we got out the steam bender and started steam bending some wooden structure pieces to make a tower of string. This should be a fun project. Probably should have cut these in half before we started steam bending them because this bandsaw right here doing this was a little tricky and frankly not the safest thing we've ever done in the shop. But it was one way of getting it done. We also ended up throwing one of the scraps directly into the coffee. Black walnut's dark enough. We don't need to give it a coffee stain finish. I'll leave that on there because we don't know what we're doing yet. Yet. <laughs> we knew what we were doing to start with. I guess it doesn't really matter. Going backwards? Nope, that's just a horrible drill bit. I can find another drill bit. I know a machinist that can sharpen them too. I can tell the briar stuff. Yeah. It's much more flexible. The bottom one has the knot on top. Oh, they each have the knot here and here because they're holding it this way. You don't put the knot right. there. I'll just put one here. Yeah, I, I don't see a problem with putting another knot in it. Yeah, they're both, it's on the exterior of the curve. This one goes through. Yeah. Wish I was smart enough just to not have to look at this video to figure it out. Do you mean to do two black walnut? Yeah, because we've got more black walnut. Now we'll go every other one. Okay. Except I was supposed to put that in right there. <laughs> oh, no. So I don't remember how many times we took this thing apart and rebuilt it, but every time we ran out with one or more problems. Either the wood hadn't completely relaxed from having steam bent it, or the woods were different densities and just wouldn't cooperate with each other, and or we came up with a better way of doing it, or we're trying to understand how the pressures were actually at play. And this whole thing resulted in us trying multiple times to get this thing to stand up mostly straight, but we always had a little bit of an issue. We then finally came up with this idea. Roll the clip. Take 365. All right, we have built this thing three, four, four times, and the knots and everything have slipped, and it never would quite stand up. You'll see that in the clip right before this. And we figured out that it was how springy or how much tension there was especially at the bottom so what i'm going to do is i'm going to like that's a little harder it's going to go near the bottom and that will go near the top that's super strong wimpy wimpy strong it's probably just thickness or whatever but what i figured out is that they would get if they had the right amount of tension, then it seemed to hold up. And I thought, well, how could I build it so I could adjust the tension? And I thought, you know, if I had these kids' little beads, that'd be great. And uh, look what I found on the road. Ultimate recycling. Don't really 
think of the universe like feeding things in. I'm not quite that much of a hippie. I'll take some little plastic beads that I find alongside the road and turn them into a video. Recycling everything is kind of what this channel's about. But I just wrapped them around twice there. And then you can just slide them. Just slide down, they hold. If you want to move them, you relax it, move it up. Relax it, move it down. And it pretty much stays. So I'm going to go with that. One more time lapse and hopefully we'll have this uh, this little puppy done. And no more tying knots. If I had coffee, I'd drink it here. So while this project wasn't particularly hard to build, nor was it particularly difficult to make or create or find the parts for, and some of the parts were even just so happened to be at the bottom of our driveway, but it was kind of a brain teaser type project because just the main idea of building it was we wanted to touch it, build it, create it, and understand how all the things were working in the project itself. Um, maybe it's ADHD, maybe it's dyslexia, needing to touch something to find out how it works, but this project was one of those that just needed to be built to understand it. And we had a lot of fun. A lot of jokes in the shop while we were working on this and frankly a lot of information gained steam bending can do a lot and yeah you need to let it rest before you use it in any tensile structure but we also decided that the top of this thing was too heavy so we took off two of the arcs to make it light enough to stand up on its own even wood has its limits on how much tensile structure it can provide to hold up weight. Five, six, seven pieces. Eight, nine, ten, and it goes crazy. The thing that makes this stupid thing work is you've got two places. Each section of string, no matter where it is, it's got two pieces pulling on it. So this one, well, that only has one pulling on it right down here. One, this spring is the only one pulling on that bottom. Oh, it just moved. <laughs> so this string here at the very bottom is only tensioned by this one. But at this point, the string is being pulled by both this one and this one. At this point, it's only being pulled by this one. that's the only one. So if you relax that, then that string in the middle actually relaxes. So even though that's being pulled on one, here it's being pulled on twice, but it doesn't really matter because it's being bridged there. <laughs> I understand it. What the heck, that was half the task. There you go. Tower of string. Not sure what to think of that. Looks cool. Does it look like it still should stand up? I'm not gonna hurt my brain any more than it already is. Now that just hurt. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so, I mean, the thing is, okay, compare this to before. I can, you know, it doesn't matter. It's a tower of strength. The, this this bottom piece is a little cockeyed, so I set it up a little, but that even almost corrects itself. Yeah, that's kind of a neat look. Okay, let's get a thumbnail before you break it. <laughs> ADHD, ADHD. <clears throat> I'm glad that's your project. Okay, and we are still rolling, and I've got the whole thing. Okay, one more time. That was fun. Tensegrity structure. It's called Tower of String, and it will stand up on its own. 